Good morning. It's looking quiet out there this morning. Great to see. And we started off quiet yesterday before the snow and the freezing drizzle moved into Fargo and that caused all sorts of havoc on the roads. If you were out driving in it, you know it. Uh, it ended up being quite slick. With that warmer air moving in, we saw that precipitation develop and now we're looking at some warmer air that's taking over and some quieter weather here today. So yesterday it felt great to even see those numbers climb above zero uh, to start off the morning and today will actually feel pretty great when you step outside. Still below freezing, still cold, but not that absolutely brutal, frigid kind of weather we've been dealing with. We're into the 20s. Some of us actually are above freezing out west. We're at 34 in Langdon and 33 in Devils Lake and Jamestown. So starting off our morning on a warm note there and all of us really in into the teens and 20s above zero. This is more comparable to what we expect to see this time of year for your forecast highs. So here's a look at our wind speeds. They're out of the south. Most of us looking at wind speeds in that 5 to 15 mile per hour range. It is a little stronger in some spots. Roseau, a 20 mile per hour gust and in Sisseton, 28 miles per hour. So the wind's still with us a little bit. Mainly out of the south though, so it is bringing in that warmer air. Not as much moisture with it as other times. So we've seen that big warm up and the uh, suddenly the fog develops because it's that warmer air with a lot of moisture moving over a colder surface with all that snow on the ground. So the the end result of having a little bit of a drier air mass moving in means some clear skies still sticking around in most areas. Good visibility. Now there are some spots where we're still concerned about issues with a little freezing drizzle and that's up north. We've been seeing some of that up at Lake of the Woods on our loop here, but now we're looking up at the uh, uh, Pembina area, perhaps getting some freezing rain, light freezing rain back over to Cavalier and Hallock, and this is moving to the east. So uh, just be careful in this area. Temperatures are getting milder, but we're still freezing at the surface. So we're looking at some issues if that is reaching the ground with some more freezing drizzle in that spot. But most locations looking nice and quiet here in the tri-state area. So here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. We're going to see some numbers into the 20s heading into the noon hour into some 30s, 33 degrees in Fargo, 32 in Grand Forks. And we'll continue to climb up a few more degrees from there. And this may be a little conservative out west. We're already into the 30s there now. Uh, and so I think that there's a shot at getting closer to the 40 degree mark there today. We're, go we're going to be in the mid 30s here for the rest of us in the valley, including the Red River Valley, the immediate area, and over to the east too in Lakes Country and up into uh, the wooded areas of Minnesota too. So heading into tonight, we stay mild even after the sun goes down. We're looking at some 20s and 30s late. And as we move into tomorrow morning, we'll still stay on the mild side. So uh, we're entering a nice stretch here of drier weather and warmer weather here in the valley. Now we want to get you to that proceed road to Frisco forecast. Again, we showed you earlier that we've got some issues down in Oklahoma and in the Frisco area. Some rain on the warmer side of this in Frisco, but just north and west of there, we're looking at some freezing rain, some snow. There's winter weather headlines down there, including a winter storm warning for places like Oklahoma, parts of Oklahoma. And so this may affect your inbound flight if you're heading out there today. If you're just hitting the road, you're eventually going to run into some moisture, but things are looking pretty quiet here from Fargo down to about Kansas, then I would be aware of some issues with this storm system affecting that area. By midnight tonight, we're looking at it starting to depart, but as you get into the Oklahoma area, you're going to run into some issues there. And then eventually this does move on. This is uh, into the Friday time frame now. We're looking a lot quieter. And as we head into Saturday for the game, just in time for the game, it's looking really good. Some sunny skies and temperatures that are well into the 50s to near 60 degrees. So good for game time. Not so great for travel once you get in that area. A look at your seven day planner. We've got some numbers that are looking great through Sunday, even into next week too. Our next system will be Sunday night and into Monday. I'm leaving for Frisco today and I've packed my poncho but I'm also ready for nice weather. For right. Game time, like yeah, you you'll need that for the next day or so if you're heading down there today, but it does get so much better here in the forecast for game time and not cold either, dry and mild. Love it. Thank you, Lisa. Coming up, we'll tell you about a lab that's taking learning to a whole new level.